Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you all so much for watching my videos and for supporting me. Before we continue, if you haven't hit that subscribe button, kindly hit the subscribe button before we continue. Today's video is going to be a tutorial and a review on the Free Trust Braid Jazz Water and it comes in the length of 12 inches. Sun Beauty sent me six packs of hair and I used um, all the packs. Okay, so the color I have in is the OT30. So when you take the hair out of the pack, this is how the curl pattern is. This the curl is tight. Okay, so to achieve curls like mine, what I did was that um, I separated the hair. But if you're separating the hair, um, you need to take your time so that um, the hair doesn't become too freezing. Because if you do not take your time to separate the curl, what I realized is that um, the hair will start to frizz. Okay, so let's just go right ahead into the tutorial. Okay, so for today's tutorial, we're going to need um, a crochet pen. And um, the hair we'll be using is the Free Tress Braid Jazz Water at in the length of 12 inches. Okay, so the color I'll be using is um, the color OT 30. Okay, so this is how the curl looks like. Close it. Okay. Okay, so I just have um, 10 cornrows all to the back and I just joined down this two here to create my pattern here. Okay, so this is how um, the hair looks like. If you haven't divided it, so I'm just going to fix this at the back, but as I'm coming forward, I'm going to start dividing the hair into two. So let's just go right ahead. Okay, so I think I'm just going to make like some like three knots to be fine. This is um just for the back, but um very soon I'm going to start dividing the hair into two. Okay. Okay, so moving forward, I'm not going to start dividing the hair into two. So this is it. I'm just going to divide it into two. Okay, so when you divide into two, this is how um, it looks like. So you just take your finger, any finger, and you just pass it around the hair. That um, kind of helps with the frizz that you experience after dividing the hair into two. I prefer to separate the curl um, because I feel like it gives it like this kind of a um, natural look when you separate it. So that is how kind of like to separate my curls. Okay, so that's how it looks. And then this is the other one. The other one. Okay, so you just take your finger, pass it around the hair. Pass it on the hair. As I said, it helps to tame um, the frizz. Okay, so.
Okay, so one thing I liked about this hair is that okay, the hair is not slippery. There's some synthetic hair that when you oh, I mean the hair feels too slippery, so you need to make so many knots to scale it. This hair is not like that, and um, the hair is soft. The hair is soft, and as you can see, this is when I drop. So um, if you're somebody that um, you don't like the hair to be frizzed up at all, what you can do is that you don't need to separate the curl. I like the hair to look at a frizzy. I feel it looks more natural. But if you don't um, want the hair to be frizzy at all, all you need to do is that when you take the hair, you just don't split it into two. You just kind of um, separate the curl just a little. Okay, so I cannot separate them all the way through. Just separate it as one unit, like this. Okay, that's one. Separate it just a little. So it's still like one, but you just kind of um, separate some of the color. But you're not going to separate it into two, like what I did initially. I just want to like this, okay? So separate it like a little bit. Okay. All right, take your crochet and let's do it. Okay, so just to kind of things, I'm not going to divide into two. I'm just going to separate the curl a bit. So I'm not dividing anything. I'm just kind of separating the curl a bit. That's all. Okay, so, so far I've used almost like three packs of hair and um, this is it. Let's leave some of this left to confuse the side and see how the hair will turn out when I'm done. Okay, so as you can see, um, the effects are most part of the hair, I'm almost done. Okay, so when you take the hair, I mean, previously, um, what I did was that I decided to split some into two. Okay, or what you can do is you just separate um, the curl as you move along if you do not want to split the hair into two because of maybe you don't want the hair to press too much. So, okay.
So I'm just like separating the pearl. Okay. Then take your crochet pen. It's going to slide it this way. Cross it, you pull it. Okay, this is the loop. One knot, two knots, and that is fine. Okay. And so the method I use here, that is what I use for all the other parts of my hair as well. But I'm going to use the knotless method for the metal parts because that's where I'd want the pattern to be. Okay, so just as matter, you just repeat everything, the same process throughout um, the whole head. Okay, so I'm going to repeat um, the same um, process again. So you take your crochet pin, slide it under the braid, place the hair inside your pull to pull it. Okay, then create your loop. One, two, two knots is fine. Okay, and I'm just going to separate the curl. You can either do it this way, you could just separate the curl before you and stop whichever works for you. It's fine. Okay. Alright, so now I'm just going to do the invisible part here. Okay, so take your crochet pin, slide it up this way, and you place the hair inside, you close it, you pull it. Okay, this is the loop. I'm just going to pass one side of the hair. So, this is this side. You pass it through a second time. Pass it through a second time. Then this is it. Okay, so I'm done installing this hair, and this is how the hair looks like. Um, I'm not going to cut it, I'm just going to leave it as it is because I like um, the way it's shaped. Okay, so I'm going to leave um, the link to where this hair can be purchased in my description box um, below. Um, the curl pattern is gorgeous. Um, my initial thought of this hair is that um, the curl pattern is very gorgeous, as I said, but when you are separating the curl, um, just take your time and separate it so that um, the hair doesn't um, frizz too much. So I'm gonna come back soon with a one week review and a one month review of this hair, so stay tuned. Okay, so I know I promised um, to come back with a one week review, but um, unfortunately, um, this is like a two weeks and three day review of the hair. Okay, so what I did was that um, I maintained this side of the hair and I didn't maintain this side of the hair. I'm usually, um, what I do is that once every week I take my scissors and I just cut out all the frizz um, in my hair. Okay, so that um, the hair doesn't frizz up too much, the hair doesn't match, you know, and sometimes if you don't maintain the hair, the hair tends to tangle. Okay, so for this side that I maintained, okay, as you can see, okay, the hair has been really tangled, okay, you don't really see much frizz, but for this side of the hair, there was no maintenance during the two weeks three days okay as you can see the hair is like tumbling up okay okay there's this frizz here okay you know the curls are like a, like you're like stuck together kind of 
Hmm. Vou fazer assim. Okay, so um, after two weeks, three days, um, the hair um, is still soft, but it's not as soft as um, the first day. And as you realize, um, for the side that I kind of maintained that I was cutting out um, the frizz, the curls are separated. I mean, the hair hasn't tangled, but for the part that um, I didn't maintain at all, I mean, this. Can you see the first? Okay, but um, it's not too bad because I'm um, yeah, some types of hair that are really tangled badly by now. Okay, so I know some people um, maintain their hair by putting water and mousse in it. No, all I do is that once a week I just take my scissors out and I just cut out the first. When you do it once a week, the first doesn't build up. Okay, so I'm really like, you know, it's not even going to take you 10 minutes. Once every week, you don't even need to spend 10, week, 10 minutes just like um, taking a scissors and cutting out um, the frizz. Um, okay, so I'm coming to you with um, the final thoughts of this hair. Um, I've had the hair in close to four weeks, like it's almost four weeks. Okay, and um, you, as you can see, the hair has shrunk a bit. I mean, that's to be expected. But um, the hair still feels um, quite soft. It's not as soft as the first. It's had in a bit, but it's not like that hard or like it hasn't really tangled up that badly as you can see. And um, as I said, okay. And one thing is that um, the hair has this like natural look to it. There has been some um, brands of hair that I've installed in the past that the hair felt slippery. So I had to do like four knots, but this hair doesn't feel slippery. It has this like a natural touch to it, it's like this natural feel. Okay, so that, and it doesn't feel sleepy at all. The hair is not shiny. Okay, so it makes it so much easier to kind of like um install. And what I'll say is that um when you're installing the hair, okay, and you're trying to separate it, you need to kind of take your time when you're separating the curl, because um when you realize initially. When I was just separating some of the curls, some of them um, started frizzing, okay? But later, as you realize, what I did was I kind of like took my time to separate the curls. If you do that, I mean, if you have the hair in for a month, it's going to it's all still look like this, okay? Or if you don't have time to separate it, like I don't even do that, just install the hair whole as it comes in the pack. Then when you're done installing it, just use your hand to kind of like, you know, Shake it and just do this. Just separate it a bit. Okay. And if you do that, um, you're good to go. Okay, so this has been in for like three weeks, um, six days. That's why I keep saying like that, like it's close to four weeks. So I'm going to take it out. So I'm going to leave all details of the hair in the description box below and where you can get this set. And as I said, maintenance is so simple. Um, you don't have to bother yourself with the water and mousse. Just take your scissors once every week and cut out the frizz. If the frizz doesn't build up, the hair is not going to tangle. And it makes, I mean, life so much easier. Because one thing I realize is that if you don't, like, maintain the hair and cut out the frizz every week, okay, like I demonstrated, and let's say for maybe like two weeks or three weeks, I mean, the frizz would have, would have built up. And when it builds up that way, it makes it much more difficult to kind of maintain the work and like, sorry, to maintain the hair and like, it becomes tedious for you. So just once every week, just maybe on the weekend, take your scissors, cut out the frizz and you're good to go. I mean, you don't really have to bother with water and mousse. If you want to use it, you can, but personally, that is just how I maintain my hair with just a scissors, so like cutting the frizz once every week. So that is it. So it has been close to four weeks. Okay, so thank you all so much for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and you have a great day. Bye.